Welcome back. So now the fun begins. We're going to be doing the index.js file, which is going to be the main file of your app. And it's going to pretty much have a lot of the stuff that Facebook suggests. So here, this is a very important uh, place to come. It's the develop developer's uh, portal for Facebook. And this gives you a complete uh, product overview of your bot and how it should be structured. So uh, let me show you a little bit about it. So one of the things that Facebook wants you to use is uh, cards. So this is an example of a card. So you could see you have like a picture, you have a description, you have a title. Uh, here's a, a different type of card that has a, a, a clickable button. And then this is an example of an over order confirmation card, right? Now here it is again. Uh, this is with the, um, this is one of the, the more popular apps on here right now. It's, it's a weather app. And you could see the difference between the cards, right? And you can have up to three options as it currently stands. So uh, here's Zuck's t-shirts. He says, hey, David, what are you looking for? Comfort style focus. You could select one of these and then the bot follows up with another with another message. So this kind of gives you an idea of the structure of uh, Facebook Messenger bots. I would strongly suggest going and playing with a few of them just to, so you see kind of what it's like. And right now, the strong focus for Facebook is so the bots, more than anything else, that they're like if else statements. In other words, you you come into the bot, it says it greets you, it says hello, it gives you a welcome message, and then it gives you a couple of options. Option one, two, three. And then you select one and then it gives you another few options and so on. So this right here, uh, is a great example. You come into his t-shirt shop. He says, what kind of, uh, what are you looking for today? Style, comfort, focus. And then you select one and it's going to give you more options. And it's going to have this feel like it's an interactive process uh, instead of it being, you know, a static content. Now they provide some cold examples for you and especially when it comes to the cards. So here's an example for, for the app get uh, and how to do a webhook. Uh, this is right on, on their site. And as these things change and over time, you can just come in here and get it. So put all of it together and I have it in a file right here. So I've taken this file, copied it, and then I've pasted it in here. So um, not to jump ahead, but this is uh, Visual Studios. When you first open a Visual Studios, uh, it's going to be blank. And then it's going to look like this. So what you want to do is you want to do file, open, and then find the uh, Parrot app open it up and then it'll open in here. So it's, I already have it open, so I won't do that. And then what you want to do is you want to come in here, you want to right click new file and, and, and call it index.js. Now I've provided the sample code. I want you to copy it and paste it in here and then you'll have this. So I'm going to kind of give you a high level idea of what it is. A lot of this stuff is uh, available also on the Facebook developers page. So top of it is basically things like your body parser uh, that you, you uh, downloaded earlier. That's one of the dependencies. Then you have your um, your web hook right here for, for Facebook. And then you have, you know, this is spinning to the server. This is the API endpoint. And this part is pretty important. So now this is where it gets interesting. This is a, this is one of the webhooks, and this is how it works. So anytime someone uses the text "aha," they're going to get three cards, okay? And then the cards are going to be a little bit lower, and I'll show you those cards. So this is one of the, the types of functionality that is that you get. It's almost like an if else statement if you think about it. If someone says the word "aha," they get these cards, right? And if they don't, then what happens is we're going to pair back a message. So. Here's the pair back message uh, functionality. And now let's go down to the cards. Again, this is provided by uh, Facebook and they have different names for the card. It's called generic. And this is the structure of a card. Uh, you have the title of a card. Uh, you have the subtitle of a card. The, you can have an image URL and then you can have uh, buttons. So you can have up to three buttons, right? And you kind of have two different options when it comes to buttons. A button could be a link that takes you somewhere else or it could be what they call payload, which responds automatically back with the message. So based on this, you can come in here and you can create more buttons and you can have different payloads. And uh, most importantly, you can come in here and you can um, also have different keywords that trigger uh, different cards. So this kind of gives you an idea. Uh, let's move on to the proc file, which is going to be uh, very quick. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.